Hey, Techies. Oh, man. It's been a while since I've made one of these. I know I said I'll do it frequently, but things have been busy recently. But let's talk about it. Um, I have decided on where I'm going to go to college during the next two years. For those of you, probably probably most of you know, but I have been at community college for the past two years, and I have been choosing where to transfer. And for a while, I was choosing between two colleges. For the past month, I was really taking a lot of time to think about it, weigh the pros and cons, and essentially try to figure out what decision I'd regret the least. And I decided. I decided I'm going to transfer to, drumroll please, UC San Diego as a computer engineering major. This is very far from where I am. I'm not anywhere near San Diego, but I want the experience. It's a really good engineering program and I'm really excited. There's a whole lot of adventure as well as San Diego, entirely new area, entirely new people. Although I do have a couple friends also going with me to San Diego. So this is really nice, but a lot of what I will experience is new. And honestly, I'm excited. It'll be something fresh, something that I have no experience in and I'll just kind of struggle along. But you know, the more I struggle, the more I grow. So I'll take this as a win. Content will be the same. I'll still be, I'll still be making videos whenever I can. I've talked to several engineering majors at the university. They say they still have a good bit of free time to do whatever they need. So if I have that free time, you bet I'm going to be working on videos and streams whenever I can. Streams might be a little less. Academic workloads will, prob will probably be very hard for me. But I'll figure things out. I'll get out whatever I can. It's possible. I just need to manage my time properly. That's on my end. In general, I've been working a lot in my telecom engineering job. It's been fun. I have been talking to them about how exactly I will keep my job because a lot of what I do is in-person work. There is remote work, but I'm not sure how much remote work I could do while I'm at San Diego. So I'm figuring that out. In fact, I'm meeting with my supervisors middle of this month, like mid-June to figure out what we're going to do. Hopefully we make something work because I'd like to keep working there while I'm at San Diego, but we'll see. If I don't work there, honestly, that's not that bad because I will have more time to focus on everything and kind of get adjusted. So I'm not too worried. It'll be fun. And it'll just, I'll be doing the exact same thing that I'm doing now, just in a different place. Plus San Diego weather is really nice. So I'm pretty stoked about that. But I'm just going to go on to the next question. And I do hope, guys, please put down uh, comments of questions and stuff you want me to answer because I could use the ideas. <laughs> I take way too long to figure out topics myself. Even though I think about things I want to talk about a lot, I never end up noting them down because I just forget them instantly. And then I actually want to shoot a video and I'm like, crap, I, I can't do anything with this. But yeah, I'll do one question today. Probably as more people comment and stuff, they comment questions, or you could DM me or message me, however way you want to communicate. Whatever questions or topics, I'll figure them out. But one question that a friend of mine did ask in Discord DMs a while ago, what would I suggest that people do if they want to become a bigger content creator? My credibility for this isn't exactly the highest because I am not a big content creator, but after all the years of studying it and trying to understand the industry and my knowledge slash experience, there's a good bit of tips I can say. Like what you are doing. A lot of people might just be doing it for the sake of the end goal, but you want to enjoy what you're doing in the moment. You want to enjoy and look at the products you make, the videos, the streams, and say, oh yeah, like I like that. I made that. It's very cool. Like If you look at back at a video, and this is actually something that happened to me back then, I used to be making three TikToks a day, a very frequent amount. I was filming so much. But the ones I were filming were like the ones where people put like a sound and then they like lip sync and act to it. I didn't really like doing them. Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes. But a lot of times I just did it because I was trying to get more out there. And sure, I might have had a bit of growth or whatever, but I did not have fun really. And that's a big deal breaker for me because I don't want to be working on content and just 
ruining having to even make it when it should be a fun part about what I do. And the videos that I do really like are the ones where I am looking back on that video after I made it and I'm laughing or I'm like smiling and being like, that was a good video that I made. It was fun. If I enjoy what I make, there has to be other people that do it too. So that's something that I would like to suggest. Don't make content because it'll like, don't make content just because it might be popular or whatever. Do stuff that you enjoy. And if you're passionate about it, you're going to find other like-minded people that are also passionate about it. And it's going to be an overall much more fun experience. Uh, let's see, what else? I would say take pride in it, genuinely. I think this is important because for people who just say content creation is like a hobby or something, it's not bad. And it's very nice. Like, it's fun. Like, it's fun to have it as a hobby. But if you show that you're, like, really proud of the work you do and the stuff that you create, it'll fuel your mind to make more creative projects and to create even bigger and better things than when you started. Bringing more people in for more collaborations. Doing more, not large-scale things, but bigger than you normally do. Like, maybe instead of playing Valorant for the fifth time, in the week just doing a competitive maybe do like a fun game mode with friends and like you organize a bit of an event and some rules not an event but like organize a little get together and you have a bit of planning behind it like you level up in terms of quality gradually i think that's very important if you want to get good at it because people like it when there's someone that's improving and like reaching that higher level then people support them. It's like when people push, uh, do partner pushing for Twitch. They're so close to partner, maybe like 50 average followers, and they're like, all I need is, tw oh, sorry, not followers, viewers. They have 25 more f viewers they need in general. And then a lot of people like share, share, the, share the stream with their friends and they get more people to watch and they try to help them get to that goal. It's really cool stuff. But yeah, I think the one of the nicest parts about content creation is the endless amount of possibilities you can do you can combine so many concepts so many bits so many personalities and it makes something new every time there's an endless amount of content that you can provide whether it's inspiring educating entertaining whatever it is this one's a bit shorter i think i don't honestly have anything else at the moment that's pretty much it I have some other ideas coming up. I'm probably going to start scheduling the shooting slash filming of that very soon. And yeah, hopefully make more videos like this during the summer. You guys are awesome. Thank you for tuning into the videos. Appreciate it a lot. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this.